Bye, guys. Bye. How are you? I can see you. I can see your beautiful faces. <laughs> you are doing well, I can see. You are happy. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Happy life could not be better. <laughs> Nothing can be uh, bad for us. Everything is good for the practitioner of God's light. How about your life? Great. Thank you. Great. That was good to hear. Uh, by the way, I want to say special hello to those uh, tune-in centers. We have plenty more, but I guess it's the wrong timing, so they cannot all tune in. You know, the different time zone, yeah. So they are just uh, maybe half of them can tune in. Like, hello, special greeting, special love, special hug, <laughs> special blessing to Korea. Busan, isn't it, one, huh? And Korea, thank you. Korea, Gwangju. Korea, Seoul. Korea, Jiu-Jiu. <laughs> Jinju, <laughs> Juanju, <laughs> uh, Korea Yongdong, and Formosa Taitong, Formosa Jiayi. Oh, they're not in, they're not in, sorry. They're not in. Okay, China, uh, Hong Kong, China, Macau. Many other China or Taiwan can join in, I guess. It's not uh, the time. <laughs> and uh, even Aulak. Saigon, uh, Nepal, Kathmandu, Canada, Toronto, Hala, <laughs> and special your compatriot uh, countrymen, Canada, Vancouver, Ca uh, Mexico, Texaco, 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 Mexico, Monterey, Mexico, Jalapa. Make, oh, USA, Arizona, uh, USA, oh, this is USA, New Jersey, California, San Diego, San Francisco, San Jose, uh, Florida, Orlando 1, Orlando 2, <laughs> Massachusetts, Boston, New York, uh, yeah, New York, New York. Uh, apple, big apple. USA, Ohio, Oklahoma, Texas, Houston, Dallas. Uh, wait, no, 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 that's it. Now it's Germany. This is Europe. Germany, Berlin. Germany, Dusseldorf. Wow. Uh, Ireland, Dublin, France, Paris. That's it for now. Next time you will hear somebody else, uh, some other centers who can be in the same time zone as us. All right. Very nice to see your faces. They make you a big picture here so I can see all of you. Hi, 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 everybody. Hi. Look like your center is very big. <laughs> So how's everything? <laughs> all right. Nice to see you all. Can you see me very well? Yeah. Good, good. Wow, what a technique, huh? We'll be even better, better soon. Hi, yeah, I can see you waving. <laughs> so is there any problem you want me to help you? Well, Master, we do have a few questions. Sure, that's wonderful. Uh, most of them coming from new initiates. Uh-huh. And I can read the first one now. Yes, yes. Okay. Dear Master, I have difficulty with the sound meditation. Sometimes I do not hear the inner sound. Can you tell me what I can do? Thank you, Master. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. And uh, um, maybe you check with the O initiate whether you are doing it correctly. Or sometimes mm, 
You know, you have to recite the holy names for about 20-25 minutes before you do the quaning on the sound. And um, you should not follow the sound and just concentrate on the wisdom eye and not wandering around, I mean in your mind, because as soon as you wander, the sound disappear. The sound doesn't disappear, you just go somewhere else. So maybe uh, we take some, some more practice, yeah? Do not lose uh, patience and heart. Everyone has to learn to walk before they can run. You will get there, don't worry. We all go through this, okay? And we doubt sometimes whether we hear it or not, or is it outside sound, or is it inner sound, is it really my heart, or is it something else, you know? All kind of things that come into our mind. Do not let all this worry you. You are there already, and you are walking toward the light, okay? Dear Master, this is a similar one. I have difficulty concentrating when I meditate. To help my meditation, I play your chanting tape, read your book, and even put some of your pictures around me, but I still struggle. Please tell me how I can improve my meditation. Oh, we improve with practice. We improve with practice. Most of the baby, they are born laying there, helpless, you know, <laughs> and you are new. So uh, do not be in such a hurry and give yourself so much pressure, because if you don't relax, it's even more difficult to concentrate. So it is better just to let it be. Just you sit there, relax, and uh, recite the five names, the holy names, as much as you remember, whenever you can remember, and concentrate on the wisdom center, and then things will come by itself, okay? Uh, the light don't always come to, to the new practitioners, even to the old practitioners, because we don't always have the ability of physical soundness to concentrate. It happens to everyone, so do not worry, okay? Just continue, go group meditation, and relax, and doing what you can in meditation at home. Just do what you can, do your best, that's it. No anxiety, no expectation, no pressurizing yourself, because God comes in time, yeah? God is all relaxation, all love and all naturalness. We are too busy thinking of many other things, and our mind cannot rest. And that's the reason uh, that we have to practice every day to achieve the perfect state of tranquility the samadhi, yeah? If we can do it overnight, then uh, we just get initiated and then we no need to do anything else. See what I mean? I love you and wish you all success very soon. Dear Master, how can I keep the feeling of being one with all beings all the time? Ah, that's rather difficult but not impossible with practice at the time. Uh, with the time, things will come naturally, okay? And we don't even have to feel that all the time, because we still have to take care of all this uh, mundane stuff in this world. So just be natural, be yourself, enjoy your meditation on the side, and just do your job uh, in the world. Thank you. Next question. Dear Master, I know our physical body includes the same basic materials such as atoms, molecules, and so on. But Master, what is our soul made of? Is it made of the same things as our physical body? Yes, it, it is. Yes, it is. It is. Everything is made out of the same substance. It's just uh, the condensed, uh, the condensed level is different, okay? Um, so it's difficult, huh? <laughs> you look at the water. Are they the same or they are they different? They are different, right? Hmm? The ice cubes in your refrigerator, is it different from the way it looks to the water or is it the same? Different and same. Different and same, yeah, that's what it is. We are different, the physical, a manifestation of the light is different from the pure light itself, but it is nevertheless the same substance, and that is the problem with us. We cannot 
lose ourselves as an ice cube, an ice cube to identify ourselves with the flowing water. But when the sun melts, we know, okay? <laughs> In the meditation, the light will melt your existence as the condensed manifestation of the fluid light of the glorious substance of God. Then you will know that we are not the body. All right? That's the purpose of meditation. You will know your great self. That was the final written question. Um, everything else is uh, more expression of... Um... Okay, let them talk. Whoever likes to talk. Hi, Master. Hi, Hi. baby, Julie. <laughs> Okay, Master, I love you so much. I miss you. <laughs> oh, I love you too. I miss you every day. Whenever I remember you, I just feel my tears. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's tear of love. It's good. This will uh, keep you more uh, blessing in the spiritual progress until the yearning make you become one with the Master Power. This is a Thank purpose. you, Master, so much. So Very good. Whatever you've done for me, I really appreciate <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank God for you, and I appreciate your effort and your faith. Thank you. Thank you, too. <laughs> Those are our problems, Master. No, it's all right. <laughs> I have the same problem. I also miss you guys. <laughs> It's just that the difference between us is that I'm not so uh, eager and so desperate to go see you or anything, because although I miss you, I know uh, that we are connected, and okay. it's very clear, yeah. But nevertheless, uh, this is good for you if you long to see the Master, the embodiment of the Master, it is good for your spiritual progress. Sometimes the Master has to be away in order for you to long for this uh, reunion, because this is symbol of the union with your own Self, with the whole universe Self, okay? Mm. How about next one? Anyone else? Any sweetheart? Yes, Master, we have just one more. Yes. No, any more, don't worry. Oh, okay. We have time for you. <laughs> Today is your day. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Master. <laughs> okay. À thế thì vụ con đọc trong giáo lý sư phụ đó thì có cái đoạn sư phụ nói rằng vì muốn cho chúng sanh thuộc bài nên sạch tánh khả chịu luân hồi. Thế con muốn hỏi sư phụ giờ vậy là nếu mà trong cái kiếp này mà chúng sanh nó có nhiều tội lỗi đó thì khi nó chết á sạch tánh có phải xuống địa ngục để mà chịu những cái hình phạt của chúng sanh đó không? Xin sư phụ nghe là nói rõ cho để con biết. Cái phật tánh của người đó. Dạ. Cái phật tánh của người đó phải xuống địa ngục phải phải rèn luyện lại. Dạ. Dạ. Cảm ơn sư phụ. Ừ. Ok. Thành ra mình phải tu hành để chưa không còn tội lỗi nữa. Ừ. Dạ. Bác biết không? Hay. Dạ. Dạ. Thì mình những người tu hành thì khỏi có bị xuống địa ngục để mà rèn luyện lại. Dạ. Ê, tại vì những cái cái nguồn gốc mà sanh ra tội lỗi đó không phải tự mình nhưng mà tại vì đời đời kiếp kiếp nó thâu thập hiểu không? Dạ. Ê, rồi bây giờ nó phải luôn luận chuyện nó phải phát ra cũng như cái cái máy radio của mình đó yeah. nó thâu vô rồi nó phát ra hoặc là cái máy record cái máy mà cái bằng cái gì thâu âm của mình đó yeah. nó thâu rồi nếu mà mình không có um, xóa nó đi á thì khi nào mình mở nó ra nó có dịp mà nó được mở ra là nó nó cứ phát ra những cái âm thanh những cái uh, mẫu chuyện hay những cái hình ảnh mà nó đã thâu thập trở lại từ hồi trước không Yeah. Thì bây giờ cái lúc mình truyền ta mắng á, thì mình xóa những cái đó đi yeah. Xóa những cái nào mà cần thiết đi Còn những cái nào mà còn để lại một chút đỉnh để sau này mình từ từ mình xóa lại yeah. Tức là trong lúc mình làm việc đây, trong lúc mình còn ở đây mình phải để lại một ít để mà làm việc hả Trong trần yeah. gian Thì cái lúc mình làm việc đó mình từ từ mình mình xóa hẳn Tức là bây giờ mình trì giới nè à, Mình không có phạm những cái điều hồi xưa nữa thì không có cái nghiệp mới nó trở lại Nghiệp mới không có, không có trở lại rồi cái nghiệp cũ đã xóa đi rất nhiều rồi còn một ít thôi thì mình mỗi ngày mình tu luyện đó mình làm phước mình ăn chay thì mình những cái nghiệp mà còn trừ lại chút chút đó trong cõi đời này đó thì cái đó mình tự làm tiêu đi thì mình không cần phải xuống địa ngục yeah. chỉ có những người không tu hành đó mới phải mà phạm ác rất nhiều mới phải xuống địa ngục 
để mà huấn luyện lại đời sống của mình thôi hiểu không yeah. phải đốt đi xuống nó phải thiêu đốt đi phải xóa bỏ đi những cái uh, ảnh hưởng tội lỗi của cái đời mình để mà mình làm lại cuộc đời mới ừ. còn ở đây á, thì mình khỏi cần xuống địa ngục để làm như vậy mình dùng ánh sáng của trời trên cái cõi đời này có cái sự chọn lựa là mình được dùng ánh sáng của trời để mà uh, xóa tan những cái uh, vết um, vết lầm lỗi của mình hồi xưa những cái điều mà mình đã thâu thập không tốt đó yeah. nhưng mà ở dưới địa ngục nó không có cái 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 sự chọn lựa đó yeah. ừ. ở, ở dưới địa ngục cái cái sự uh, cái sự huấn luyện nó nó cùng cực hơn yeah. nó um, rất là uh, gay gắt hơn ừ. còn ở đây mình có thể đổi giác được à. yeah. à. thành ra đừng có đợi xuống dưới đó rồi <cười> rồi mà mà dùng cái lửa đó lửa ở dưới nó 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 nặng hơn khó chịu hơn ha trên này mình dùng ánh sáng của trời phật nó hiền dịu nó hiền hòa mình có thời gian mình mình rửa sạch đi được không cần phải đau khổ lắm ha Đấy. mấy cái người mà xuống địa ngục của là đã bệnh nặng quá rồi đó ha cũng như những người mà bệnh nặng thế là tới thời kỳ thứ ba thời kỳ mà cuối cùng đó thì phải vô trong cái bệnh viện cứu cấp những cái uh, intensive care nó kêu gì chứ mình nặng tức là vô những cái chỗ mà nó nhà bảo dưỡng mà rất là kiểu còn gì hết cho chị hai cũng quên rồi hả à, có nhiều chỗ mà quý vị biết mà trong cái nhà thương đó có nhiều cái phòng bệnh viện nó kêu bằng intensive care tức là không có được người nào đi vô chỉ có người bệnh ngồi trong đó thôi ha à, tại vì người đó trong được người đó được chăm sóc một cách rất là kỹ lưỡng 24 trên 24 không có được ai vô thăm để mà đem vi trùng đồ khác vô đó tại vì họ phải uh, tinh hoa thân 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 thể của họ bác sĩ phải chăm sóc của họ rất là kỹ lưỡng họ phải có nhiều máy móc uh, uh, bám chặt cho thân thân thể của họ uh, rồi có máu rồi truyền vào trong tay chân của họ họ không thể cử động được nhiều thì cái địa ngục của vũ trụ nó cũng đại khái nó như vậy không phải là trời đất uh, tàn ác với mình hay là trù phạt mình nhưng mà mình bệnh nặng quá mình bệnh năng quá phải vô trong những cái 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 phòng mà điều trị một cách um, tận tình như vậy thì mới 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 rửa sạch được những cái bệnh bệnh chướng của mình nghiệp chướng của nó cũng như vậy nghiệp chướng cũng là những cái bệnh trạng ở trong trời đất mà khó có thể dùng uh, cái um, cái cách gì để chữa được trừ khi cái cách của vũ trụ là dùng uh, dùng lửa dùng ánh sáng cực mạnh để mà thiêu đốt những cái cái dấu vết uh, không hoàn mỹ đó trong cái thân khẩu y của mình à, quý vị hiểu rồi ha à, thành ra mình đừng có đi tới mấy chỗ đó mệt lắm <cười> nếu mà mỗi ngày mình ăn uống điều độ mình tập thể dục hoặc là mình à, không có lãng phí sức khỏe không có ăn uống những đồ độc uống rượu hút thuốc gì đó thì mình ít khi có phải đi vô bệnh viện như vậy cũng giống như vậy cái đời sống của người tu hành cũng như là một đời sống của một người công nhân lành mạnh à, mình không có làm những cái điều gì để mà tổn hại tới thân thể, à, tinh thần cũng như linh hồn của mình Thành ra mình khỏi cần phải xuống cái địa ngục à, nhà thương đó okay. Thì chị hay <cười> Chỉ là chỉ cho quý vị cách, cái cách sống lành mạnh của tinh thần Để mình khỏi cần phải chết rồi khỏi vô nhà thương đó Hiểu rồi ha Dạ yeah. yeah. Ok Cứ tiếp tục tu đi Mình lên thiên đàng chơi Không có xuống đó làm chi à. À, Next one Master, we have Sister Marlene from Ottawa Center. Okay. Hi, Maria. <laughs> My life has changed quite considerably. I used to be a very quiet, shy person. Yeah. And I hate talking in public. Mm. Over the last few months, I have one success after another in the office. And uh, the executive comes forward to seek my advice. Wow. And I want to tell you how grateful I am for being part of the Pony family. Thank you so much, Master. I thank you for being such a good, good practitioner. You are reaping your beautiful effort, so you can see the success already right in front of your eyes. You see? You're good, good. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Proud, <Master>. confident, <laughs> successful. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Every one of us should be like that. I mean in different way. Good, good, good. I'm very proud. 
Master Brother Luck from Toronto. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Master. Hi. Uh, as you can see uh, uh, on the TV, we are here as a big, happy, happy family. Yes. <laughs> I can see you, uh, the blue <laughs> shirt guy. We like to share our happiness with you. Yes, so I can feel that. Here growing fast, healthy, strong. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, every time we get together, Master, uh, we all feel very grateful to you, uh, Master. Uh, for myself, um, I still remember you said that to the new uh come, come to ask question after three or four years. Yes, better. Uh, and after three years, of practice, I have no more questions. Oh, good, good. So I, I, feel, <laughs> I feel absolutely contented. Yes. Fear whatsoever. Yeah, you look a picture of happiness and but perfection. I feel, feel that I'm not as strong as you are, Master. Oh, wow, I thank you. Like master like, like this type of... Oh, it's okay, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. Go slow, enjoy your childhood, okay? Yeah. Don't grow up too fast and you lose it. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. When we are uh, uh, still a child, we are more spoiled, more loved, and more nourished, more nurtured. You know, when we became a master, oh my God, <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, nobody even know how much you work, and sometimes they blame you not work enough, don't see them enough. Oh, just enjoy, enjoy your 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 luck, okay? <laughs> yeah, but uh, you feel your life is better, and that is important. And it's getting better, 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 better all the time. Yeah. That's the good news. And, and you, uh, you look very good and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. It's true. Isn't it true? <laughs> you can see him better, huh? The more I love and uh, respect you, uh, the more I feel like I love and respect my two self. Yes, that's right. You got it right. And I... I wish you, Master, uh, happy every moment uh, you stay with us in this school. Thank you. Thank you, Master. I wish you more than that. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. You progress so fast. Progress so fast. You must have been very diligent, very sincere, very honest to yourself. That's why you achieve success that in even uh, for a few years, even the old practitioner, you know, they stay in a cave and they eat only once a day and they don't see any woman or anything <laughs> for years, years and decades, they would not achieve what you have achieved. I'm really proud of you and I thank God that I have such people like you as my brothers and sisters. Big family, <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> Hi, sis. Kính thưa sư phụ, ah. mặc dù xuân ma, <cười> kính thưa sư phụ, ba má con mất cách nay khoảng 5 năm, nhưng mà ah. mỗi lúc con ngồi thiền con thường cầu sư phụ để cho con gặp ba má con. Mm. Nhưng mà không lúc nào con được thấy ba má con. Nào thấy anh chi? <cười> người ta đi lên thiên đàng rồi để cho người ta đi kéo xuống chi? Hả? Dạ. À, có hai trường hợp mình không thấy. Trường hợp thứ nhất là cái cái lòng thương nhớ của mình nó mạnh quá nó cản trở đi cái cái emotion á cái lúc mà mình cảm khái quá đó cái mình cứ chìm đắm ở trong cái cái cảnh giới atula cưng hiểu không cưng à cái những chúng sanh ở atula cái tình cảm của họ rất là sâu đậm họ khóc nhiều họ cười nhiều họ rất là chìm đắm trong cái cái tình cảm của kêu bằng có thể là gần như nhân loại tình cảm của con người tình cảm của uh, cá nhân à, của gia đình à còn những cái cảnh giới ở trên kia đó thì không có những cái tình cảm mà kêu bằng ràng buộc như vậy cái tình cảm thương yêu rất là um, uh, kêu bằng tổng quát thương yêu mọi người cũng như là gia đình mình hoặc là chính thân mình à, nếu mà trường hợp như mà ba má của của cưng đó mà đã lên trên những chỗ cao hơn cái cảnh giới mà atula đó thì cưng cứ khóc lóc nhớ thương mà ràng buộc mà mà kéo níu hoài như vậy không bao giờ thấy được cha mẹ hết đó hiểu không à, cưng phải tự nhiên phải vui mừng cho cha mẹ nè à, thân phụ của sư phụ cũng mới mất đây hả mà thân phụ của sư phụ vui lắm à, một 
cái lúc mà mới đi mới mới kêu bằng lìa cái thế giới thế giới phàm trần của mình á thì uh, ngài đi lên trên cảnh giới cao rồi nhưng mà ở dưới này bà già khóc quá <cười> bà già khóc rồi thương rồi nhớ rồi mấy đứa em khóc rồi mấy đứa cháu khóc quá trời ông già xin phép xuống vacation <cười> ông già xin phép xuống thì nói chuyện với chị hai <cười> à, nói chị hai đi qua khuyên bảo ông già bà già qua khuyên bảo bà già chút à, chị hai nói chuyện với gia đình một hồi cái bà má hết rồi Bà má bớt buồn rồi em cũng hết buồn tự nhiên cái vui hai người vui rồi làm chị hai cũng vui thêm chứ hồi mấy người khóc lóc buồn bã chị hai cũng buồn bã luôn á à, kéo níu với nhau hiểu chưa ừ. mình thương nhớ là thương nhớ cái xác thịt của người đó thôi còn cái vị đó lúc nào đã lên thiên đàng rồi thì lên lên chỗ cao sang sung sướng rất là hạnh phúc à, hoàn mỹ muốn gì được nấy thân thể tinh thần hay là linh hồn rất là tự tại an nhiên muốn đi đâu một khắc là đi tới nơi liền muốn cái gì một khắc là tới trước mặt liền quần áo không cần lo không có gì hết. và để những cái thời giờ rảnh rỗi để mà học hỏi những cái điều cao cao thượng hơn những điều huyền bí hơn của vũ trụ mình đừng có kéo níu người ta xuống làm gì à, thí dụ như con cái mình thí dụ đi thí dụ ở trên đời này ha mình có mấy đứa con đi học ha có người nào translate cho mấy người cho quý vị tiếng anh hay tiếng tàu biết không có good 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 chị hai nói có lẽ lắm không ba 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 ok không được ha ok thì thí dụ đi thí dụ nói trong gia đình của quý vị ha có mấy người con mà nó học giỏi ha à học giỏi cái được học bổng à rồi cái cha rồi chính phủ gửi qua những cái nước khác học thí dụ như ở việt nam mình có đứa con học giỏi quá hoặc là nhà mình có tiền ha có có um, có thế lực hoặc là có um, cái, uh, uh, cái connection là gì à <cười> chị hai lâu quá không nói tiếng việt của anh nha xin lỗi tức là có cái sự quan hệ với những người có quyền thế đó là người ta đưa con mình đi ra ngoài nước khác học thí dụ qua nước mỹ à hoặc là qua nước pháp học ha như vậy mình cứ tối ngày cứ kéo nếu rồi về cho cho con thấy cho tôi thấy con tôi một chút tôi nhớ quá đi mấy bữa này không thấy nó nó đi rồi tôi nhớ quá ngày nào tôi cũng không thấy nó hồi xưa ngày nào tôi cũng thấy nó về nhà ăn cơm với tôi ngồi tôi nghe là nắm tay chân ôm ẩm tôi hung hết tôi thương tôi bây giờ tự nhiên nó đi đâu mất tôi nhớ quá giờ tôi muốn nó, nó trở về liền này được không muốn vậy không hả không à mình ngủ sao <cười> để cho con mình học nó thành tài chứ hả à rồi mai mốt mình cũng gặp phải không ừ hoặc là mình đi thăm nó hoặc là tới thời giờ rồi nó về nó thăm mình ok cũng như vậy người thân của mình đi lên những cảnh giới cao được những điều tốt lành gấp trăm ngàn vạn lần của mình ở đây thì mình phải mừng cho họ mình phải đi làm tiệc chúc mừng chứ không có được ngồi khóc lóc gì hết đó khóc lóc cho làm cho họ bận biểu tinh thần tại vì bây giờ họ là những những cái linh hồn linh linh thiên rồi họ không có còn bị ràng buộc bởi cái thác xác thân mà chật hẹp của mình cho nên mình nghĩ cái gì họ biết liền lúc nào họ cũng câu thông với mình hết mà nếu mình buồn bã hoài họ bị phân tâm họ không thể lên những cái à, học những cái điều mà 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 càng cao thượng quý giá hơn nữa quý vị hiểu rồi ha à, rồi kính thưa duy phụ cho con xin phép hỏi thêm câu nữa rồi rồi được đi là thỉnh thoảng con thường ghé mọi thăm vô nghĩa trang thăm ba má con chị con thăm vô nghĩa trang gì có ảnh hưởng đến vấn đề tu hành của con à, không sao có đi thăm cho tỏ lòng hiếu thuận không sao miễn mình đừng có chấp nhất cái nghĩa trang đó là cái chỗ của cha mẹ mình tại vì ông bà cái cái tinh hoa của ông bà đã đi rồi ông phải nằm ở trong cái lòng đất lạnh lẽo chỗ đó một nắm đó đâu phải không dạ. à, rồi thì mình vô đây mình thăm là cũng như mình chăm sóc mồ mã để cho um, theo truyền thống như vậy đó mà những người tu hành á, thường thường á nếu mà những người tu hành mà họ đã khai ngộ rồi không bao giờ họ chấp nhất cái xác thân á. họ thảy xuống dưới nước cho cá ăn hoặc là họ thảy lên trên cái núi cho mấy con chim uh, chim uh, đà điểu gì đó nó ăn hoặc là họ thiêu thiêu thân thể đi để rảy ra rảy ra trong trong sông biển như vậy cho nó tự tại đi khắp nơi hoặc là à, nó bồi dưỡng những cái 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 à, bồi dưỡng cho cho cái sự à, phì nhiêu của đất đai thì còn mình thì mình theo truyền thống mình không có bỏ được truyền thống thì mình cứ làm theo truyền thống à, tức là có cái mồ đó rồi lâu lâu mình đi thăm vậy 
để mà tỏ cái lòng à, 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 hiếu thuận thì không thì không có lỗi gì hả thì cũng tốt nhưng mà đừng có đừng có chấp nhất vô đó đừng có nghĩ cha mẹ mình nằm đó trời đất ơi nếu mà cha mẹ mình nằm đó có phải là tội nghiệp lắm không ai mà muốn có khi nào mình muốn cha mẹ mình nằm ở dưới đất lạnh lẽo vừa mấy trăm mấy ngàn năm ông muốn không không thì phải nghĩ như vậy nếu mà mình ràng buộc ông ba đó là là mình là tội bất hiếu ghê lắm á hiểu chưa ừ mình phải cái 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 đầu óc mình phải nghĩ những cái điều rộng lớn những cái điều cao đẹp những cái thế giới rất là 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 um, mỹ miều để cho cha mẹ mình lên đó an hưởng những cái 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 cái, cái cuộc đời còn lại của của cái 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 sự trường tồn của họ chứ không bao giờ mà nghĩ rằng cha mẹ mình nằm ở những cái miếng đất nhỏ xíu mà lạnh lẽo như vậy tối ngày không chăn không mềm những con những cái không đồ ăn đủ như vậy làm gì mà có cái sự đó hiểu rồi hiểu ha dạ à, ok good cảm ơn sư phụ à, không có gì mà cứ thiệt hiểu rồi ha à, đừng đừng có trụ ẻo cha mẹ hiểu không <cười> không phải nói một mình cân kinh hỏi như vậy rất là tốt câu hỏi rất là tốt không phải sư phụ à, nói cưng hỏi như vậy là là không tốt gì đâu cưng hỏi như vậy có tốt cho bao nhiêu người khác bao nhiêu người khác à, nghe chị hai giải thích như vậy cũng đều hiểu hết tại vì mình không có thể nào những cái gì cái đầu óc mình nghĩ những cái gì nó ra cái đó quý vị nên hiểu như vậy tại vì à, nhất thiết vi tâm tạo tất cả những cái gì mình nghĩ ra là từ cái tâm của mình là sớm muộn gì nó cũng thành cho nên phải nghĩ những điều rất là tốt đẹp những điều rất là hoàn mỹ những điều rất là huy hoàng để cho cha mẹ mình hưởng thụ và cuộc đời mình cũng càng càng ngày càng huy hoàng lên và sạch sẽ và sung sướng khoái lạc hơn thí dụ bây giờ chị hai nói mình có có được chọn lựa gì đâu thí dụ như chị hai nói ha à, quý vị nghĩ như cứ nghĩ những cái điều khẳng định đi những cái điều tốt đẹp đi rồi nó sẽ nó sẽ đến cho quý vị những điều tốt đẹp sẽ đến rồi thí dụ như chị hai nói láo đi Chị hay nói hay là nghĩ những điều tốt đẹp rồi những cái điều tốt đẹp nó không đến nhưng mà nó cũng đâu mình đâu có mất mát gì đâu à, còn hơn là mình nghĩ những cái điều xấu rồi mai mốt cái điều xấu nó cũng đến thì tối ngày mình nghĩ điều xấu hoài rồi cái mai cái điều xấu nó cũng đến là cả cuộc đời mình cứ còn những điều xấu không thà là mình nghĩ những điều tốt đẹp có phải không à cũng cái chừng nào nó xấu nó đến thì nó xấu chừng đó mình tính sao <cười> chứ mà cái điều xấu nó sẽ đến rồi mình ngồi đây tối ngày mình nghĩ những điều xấu hoài là cuộc đời mình toàn là muốn có điều xấu không không có lúc nào mà đẹp hết mình không có cái trí tưởng tượng mình không có cái những cái điều mơ mộng gì mỹ miều để cho mà mà cái 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 mộng của mình sẽ một ngày thành thành sự thật cả cho nên mình phải nghĩ những điều tốt đẹp à, mình không mất mát gì cả hiểu chưa mà, mà mình sẽ được thêm lên mình sẽ được à, hướng thụ thêm chứ mà nghĩ những điều xấu là không không có tốt gì cho mình cả hiểu rồi ha hiểu cái 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 sự à, hợp lý của nó rồi ha à chứ không phải chị hai nói gì tin ấy tin mù mắt gì mà tin cái gì phải hợp lý mình mới tin chị hai nói gì có hợp lý không okay. hiểu rồi ha hiểu rõ rõ ràng ha yeah. ok um, any rational person would not seek suffering and pain why would the soul come back if just the habits and desires have to be re- reincarnated oh, 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 oh yeah because um the habit and the desire was in habit by that soul so he has to come back to learn that these things are not desirable to be attached to the soul he has to come back again to learn that that's not belonging to him for example if the man uh, your husband go from your house to work and you tell him honey is a bag of baggage please by the way throw it in the 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 baggage uh Throw, throw it in the the garbage a container uh, outside of uh, the park for me and then he took the garbage back and went to work with him in the car nevertheless he carried it on his shoulder and then he forgot he brought it into his office you understand now he realized he has a bag of garbage <laughs> although only the garbage need to be disposed elsewhere he has to bring it out dispose it and then come back to the office You get me? Yeah. Okay. So um it is a working way of the universe, you know. The soul are very willing to do all this. Because we are sitting here in the physical dimension and we're discussing things in the physical imagination of our planet, in our expectation of a human 
uh, limited capacity of understanding. So we view suffer and sorrow and happiness as the complete opposite picture. We view uh, we view uh, suffering and uh, sorrow as undesirable uh, uh, quality, and we aspire always for happiness. But from heaven, from the higher dimension, we view all things as just an opportunity to exercise different ability and different strength within ourselves. Therefore, we never mind to reincarnate if we need to to do certain. Uh, um, to to do certain uh, course, chores, to do certain uh, errands in any in any planet in the universe. Okay, <laughs> so do not do not worry about all this. In the universal picture, sorrow, suffering, it's just a, a fraction of everything. Just like you watch a movies, the actor would not mind to undergo all kind of suffering. All kind of, uh, of of danger in the film to make the film exciting and action filled to entertain you. Okay, he doesn't mind because he don't view that as a real suffering. Similarly, in the big picture, we know ourselves as a soul, as an actor. We would not mind. It's just now that we sit in here in the physical dimension, we are worried about suffering. We fear death and. We uh, uh, abhor sorrow, but when we are in our real self, we are outside of the picture. We know the real truth is different. All right. Master, this is Brother Tom. Okay, Tom. Okay. À, câu hỏi à, con à, con có cái thể hiện tức là nói tiếp về cái chuyện mà có hiếu với cha mẹ yeah. thì hồi mà sư phụ bắt đầu chuyển tâm ấn ấy, thì sư phụ nói là chỉ cần coi tinh tấn tu tu hành ấy, thì là mình sẽ cứu được cái vườn thất tổ của mình được siêu thăng thế à, ba của con ấy thì chết năm 1985 thế sau 25 mươi hai hai năm ấy, con tinh tấn thiền ở trong chạy cấm ấy thì con thiền thì con con rất là nhiều thể nghiệm không có thôi mà con À, được sư phụ đưa xuống à, thăm ba của con ở, ở ở một cái cảnh giới con thấy cảnh giới nó cũng khổ lắm và con không biết là cái cảnh giới là cảnh giới nào. Ừ. Thế còn à, còn xuống đến đấy con nói với ba con là bây giờ thì ba không có lo bây giờ con ấy đã được sư phụ à, là phật tại thế ấy, là truyền tâm vấn cho con rồi thì chắc chắn là ba một một ngày gần đây là ba sẽ được siêu thăng thôi. Yeah. Tức là ba sẽ được giải thoát đến một cảnh giới khác. Ừ. Thế ba con ba con nói là à, đúng rồi có một cái gì mà sư phụ của con đấy là cũng đã giúp đỡ có ba nhiều lắm là chắc ba chuẩn bị đi rồi. rồi thấy chưa? Xong đó, lần lần sau là con à, sau ba tháng sau á, thì con lại được sư phụ cho con xuống dưới à, thăm bố con lần nữa. thì bố con nói là à, con nói là bây giờ ấy, ba phải à, cầu nguyện với sư phụ sư phụ con à, thanh hải thì con được sư phụ à, cầu mong à, ngài cứu cái linh hồn của con được à, đến một cái cảnh giới à, khỏi à, sinh tử luân hồi thế con dạy ba con như vậy thì từ bản đấy giờ đi đến bây giờ con không bao giờ gặp con ba nữa à con không bao giờ gặp ba con nữa thế con rất là cảm ơn sư phụ chắc chắn là sư phụ đã cứu linh linh hồn của ba con đến một cảnh giới khác rồi dạ yeah, cao hơn cao hơn ừ. à, thế à, <cười> Thì con rất là vô cùng cảm ơn sư phụ đã cho con đã truyền tâm ấn cho con và cứu rỗi cái linh hồn của con và cái thể nghiệm của con thì rất là nhiều thế con cũng kể một vài cái thể nghiệm của con và à, sư phụ cho phép con hỏi một câu hỏi sau đó ok dạ à, sư phụ con à, có rất là nhiều lần con ngồi thiền thì con đi đến cảnh giới à, rất là nhiều cảnh giới thế có những lần thì con thấy à, con à, con đúc kết lại cái cảnh giới mà con may đi à, được ngồi thiền mà con may lên đấy thì là kia là con thấy ấy, thì là bắt đầu ăn là cảnh giới vào đầu tối xong sáng dần sáng dần sáng dần sáng dần sáng dần có nghĩa là nghĩa là mình càng bay cao thì là cái cảnh giới và cái ánh sáng nó càng sáng nó càng dữ dội đúng đúng dạ thế có lần nó con bay lên cao cũng là bay đến một cái cảnh giới cũng không biết là cảnh giới là cảnh giới gì mà con bảo nếu mà cảnh giới càng chia càng lên cao càng sáng thì cảnh giới của càng dưới càng tối thì con nó quảng đầu lại con nhìn xem là cảnh giới của ta bà hay là cảnh giới của những cảnh giới thế nào ở đằng sau mình như thế nào à. thì con nhìn thấy rất nhiều những cái vì sao lấp lánh mà con nhìn cố gắng con nhìn lại thì mỗi một cái ánh sáng đó thì là một cái hình sư phụ thế con mới nghĩ trong bụng con trong lòng con nó con bảo ủa tại sao có những cái đệ tử mà có sư phụ mà đi lên đấy xong lại bỏ rơi hình sư phụ mà không có quay lại nhặt thế mà con nó quay lại con nhặt Ừ. quay lại thì con xe lại gần đến họ thì con nhìn thấy là mỗi một người đồng tu ở đó thì có một hóa thân của sư phụ thế thì họ ngồi ở trên cát họ ngồi ở trên núi họ ngồi ở trên là dòng sông mà dòng sông ấy không có họ không có chìm 
mà họ liệm năm câu ấy, mà cái tiếng vang ở trong cái cảnh giới nó nghe rất là dễ chịu và rất là con con cảm con nghe thấy con cảm rất là sung sướng yeah. thì khi khi con thấy những người ở cái cảnh giới đó người ta người ta tu hành thế thì con cũng nghe như sư phụ nói là đến những cái cảnh giới uh, cao hay cảnh giới nào ấy, thì uh, gặp uh, phật hay là gặp bồ tát hay gặp ở gì những người trên đó để mà hỏi xem cái cảnh giới đó cảnh giới gì thế có một lần thế con đến một cái cảnh giới đấy uh, rất là sáng sư phụ yes. sáng như là kiểu như là vàng ấy yes, yes. Mà hồng rực rỡ rất rất rực rỡ thế còn đến thì đó là cây bằng vàng mà ghế cũng bằng vàng rồi rất toàn bộ bằng vàng hết đúng rồi đúng con thấy rất là đẹp thế nhưng mà con con tính con tò mò vậy con nghe bao nhiêu phụ nhiều con hỏi con con vào con nghĩ là sư phụ nói là nên đến đấy để về để hỏi người ta trong cảnh giới đó cảnh giới gì thế con đi ngoài đi ngoài đi ngoài mà không thấy không có gặp ai hết sư phụ thì con không biết là 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 hỏi ai cảnh giới đó cảnh giới gì có thể sư phụ nói cho con biết được không ạ <cười> Thôi đừng nói thì để mai mốt anh tu hành cao hơn anh tự hỏi lấy đi Cái gì cũng nói cho hết rồi mình không có đủ cái 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 lòng mình muốn tu dạ. Dạ. Được rồi nếu mình thấy cảnh giới cao là mình đã sung sướng rồi khỏi cần phải hỏi anh chi Dạ vâng, tư thường vụ nên cái cảnh giới đấy rất là người mình cảm thấy dễ chịu lắm Ờ à, đúng rồi, đúng rồi Con may đến gần đến cái cảnh giới đó là con nhìn thấy toàn bộ như là một cái hào quang, cũng là hào quang của Phật mà Đúng, đúng rồi, rồi đúng rồi thế là con nhìn nó còn bảo đây chắc chắn là cảnh giới này là cảnh giới của Phật rồi nhưng mà đúng rồi. không biết là chính xác là Phật Bồ Tát có nhiều những cảnh giới ở trên đó đó thế à. là con bảo nhưng mà thôi cứ nên đấy để tò mò này hỏi xong là con đi vòng quanh ừ. vòng quanh con nhìn tất cả <cười> con nhìn cả ghế con nhìn cả cây mà có cả chiếc chim hoa rất là hay thế mà con không biết là cảnh giới thế gì không gặp ai mà hỏi à. đi mà thôi cho con quay lại thôi không sao à, nhiều khi mình chưa có đủ trình độ để mà à, nói chuyện với những à, à, với những vị bồ tát ở trên đó đó, dạ. ừ. mình phải đủ cái trình độ mình mới à, mình mới à, phân biệt được cái hình dáng của họ. Dạ, dạ. Tại vì những cái chỗ mà hư không những cảnh giới của Phật đó, dạ. không phải ai muốn lên thấy được là thấy. À, dạ. Nhiều khi mình chỉ đi vòng vòng ở ngoài biên giới thôi, dạ. à, chứ chưa vô được bên trong. Dạ, đúng à, quốc, rồi, con đi vòng biên giới, đúng. Đó, mới đến cái biên giới đó, à. con đi xung quanh một 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 đoạn thôi, đúng. không chưa. có thấy ai cả, đúng. con quay về. Chưa có, chưa có đi vô được cái quốc độ của người ta, à, oh, và, mình và. chưa đủ phước báo, phải không? Dạ, à, dạ. Thí dụ như thế này, à, cái nhiều khi mình đi vô trong, thí dụ cho phong những cái nhà, khu vực nhà giàu á, dạ. cái vườn của họ rất rộng, phải không? Dạ. Nhiều khi mình đi lọt được vô trong vườn nhưng mà đi hoài chẳng thấy nhà đâu, tại vì cái vườn họ rộng quá đi. Dạ, dạ, dạ. À, hoặc là mình đi vô trong cái khu vực của tổng thống phụ đó họ dạ. họ họ dẫn mình đi chút chút ở ngoài thôi chứ đâu được vô trong uh, cái uh, cái phòng uh, của tổng thống đâu dạ, dạ. À, thì vậy đi mình từ từ hả vâng 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 con cảm ơn sư phụ nhiều à, không có gì à, thì you enjoy á à vâng rồi rất là nhiều uh, thể nghiệm sư phụ rồi rồi biết sư uh, phụ cho con uh, rất là nhiều thể nghiệm ở uh, trên ngành giới dường như là con muốn ngồi thiền con ngồi thiền đấy con có ý niệm một chút là con muốn hôm nay muốn đi lên mặt trăng hoặc mặt trời hoặc là cái cảnh giới trên đấy giống như là sư phụ cho con được tỏi nguyện yeah. vô cùng cảm ơn sư phụ ơi à, không không được tại em tu hành cũng có thành tâm ừ. à, dạ con cảm ơn sư phụ nhiều à, cảm ơn trời phật cho anh à. cảm ơn sư phụ dạ yeah, bye I'm proud of you I'm proud of many of you you meditate well you You are progressing very well. We have a brother here in the center, uh, which uh, um, uh, somehow he lives in the center, and uh, there was some uh, misunderstanding, and there was some problems um, that we have to solve. So, where is the um, contact person? Could you explain it to me what happened, and what did you do? Dear Master, uh, this is a small problem. What <laughs> happened? Sister, what happened to the, uh, the the brother, and what happened, and what did you do? Stay in our center. Is his lifestyle a bit sloppy? So we, the management team, or all of the contact person, try to talk to him. Yes. But it's in no success. All right. So we suggest him to move out of the center. Yes. And then. Uh, we set a deadline of July the 31st. Okay. And then after that, he's still here. <laughs> Now, to me, we have to practice 
the compassion and love. Yes. So in my letter, I expressed to him that to find another place, it mo it's comfortable like the one in the center, it's cheap like a center, it's very, very hard. So I extend the deadline until October the 31st. Right. Because if we want to practice, we have to practice with all of our brother and sister here first. Yes. So now is he still there? Uh, he is still there. Can you show Peter? No, 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 no need. No, but no, no. <laughs> no need. This is not like uh, against an, an, an individual or anything. <laughs> If he wants to be shown, it's okay. If he doesn't, I respect his privacy. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, well, what does Peter has to say? Uh, he's right here, Master. We can put him on. Does he want to be on? Yes, Master. Does he want to talk? Yes. Good. Put him on. Okay, Peter, what's uh, going well, on? Uh, first of all, thanks uh, for giving me uh, this opportunity to talk. It's okay. Just, so what do you want to tell me now? What do you want to tell them? Yeah, because I, I believe that there is some sort of misunderstanding. Like what? For example, they, they call it like lifestyle problems. Mm -hmm. For example, they, they tell me, or they told me that I sometimes I, sometimes I forgot to Sometimes I forgot to turn off the light yes. after, after using. Yes. Or sometimes um, uh, I forgot to uh, shut up the window after yes. let the fresh air in. All or right. These kind of small things. Is that right, everybody? Is that what you're complaining about? We well, have a, a, a heating bill is $400 something per month. Wow. Yeah. And okay. as you saw, I told him that when you go to group meditation, you have to wear the initiation card, and he still doesn't wear it now. If you show the picture, he has no initiation card. Yeah, so but what is that, Peter? Right in the center. Peter, are you a revolutionary or something? <laughs> I don't know how to handle my brother, but I say that he is my younger brother. Okay, I got it. I got both of you. Okay. <laughs> So what are we going to do with $400 bills now? I suggest Peter can continue staying there, but you give him the electric bill. <laughs> then Thank maybe, you, all right? And, and Peter, I know it's... Can come. I say one, uh, one, one more... Uh, no, one thing first, one thing first. And uh, if everybody wears the initiation car, uh, I suggest you just take the trouble to wear it, okay? And be proud of wearing it. Okay. Because I know, yeah. I know, you think it's not necessary to wear it because you live in the center and everybody knows you. But some people don't know. Some new initiate, they don't know, and then they might treat you lightly. And they might make trouble for you or the new bodyguard or whatever, okay? So you just be like everyone and be humble, be simple, be normal, all right? Thank you, Master. Uh, uh, I, I really appreciate yes. all my brother and sister. They're kind of reminding <clears throat> uh, probably I sometimes I forgot something, you know, but I think uh, throw me out is not the solution, right? It's not the way to help me. So now I'm doing some temporary job, labor uh -huh. job. You oh, know? okay, okay. Until you find your real job, you just do any job, right? Yes. And that's absolutely. good, that's good. But be careful because uh, the center, if the bill is too high, maybe the initiate cannot pay. They also work in like you. They, you understand their position, you know, as much as you have difficult, difficulty in financial problem, you should understand their financial problem as well. That's true. Yes, and they're earning money very hard and they try to save up to go to uh, group meditation, some of them very far, and they have to pay a lot of petrol and, and they pay tax for car and all that, and they save some for the retreat sometimes. So if the expense of the center is too high, yeah, maybe uh, maybe difficult for them, eh, brother? You understand? Yeah, 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 I, I truly understand. Uh, yes. Because 
At that time, I was trying to uh, help them also to find the reason why why the uh, hydro bill was so high. Yes. But if in the future I can promise this, if in the future the same thing happened and they couldn't find the reason, I will pay the bill. Okay. Is that okay with all of you, or you still want him out? Uh, it's okay. We try. We try to work out with him as a brother and sister. Give him another three months to re yeah. rectify himself. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay, Peter? Or you want more time? Or you want less time? Or <laughs> you know, trial period. Is that okay? Oh uh, no problem. Thank, uh, thank you, Master. Uh, you want to prove it? Finally, uh, because in, in the past few weeks I prayed to you a lot. Uh, I think this time. God give me this chance to explain. Okay, good, good. So, thanks, yes. Master. Yes. Thank you very much. How is it with all of you, brother and sister? Are you okay with this settlement, or you have something else to say? Should we take a vote, Master? Yeah, take a vote. Uh, close okay. your eyes, Peter. <laughs> so, before we take a vote, I just want to clear a little bit more, so uh, everybody, especially our brother and sister here, know about that. Uh, in the letter we wrote to him and to the email list, we say that he is staying in the center. He has to be not only the ordinary initiate, but he has to be a good example. Yes. Everybody look up on him. Right. Secondly, in the email exchange among the Nick and the, the contact person, I already mentioned that uh, Peter is in, we call it, new immigrant uh, situation. He still have a lot of problem to adjust to a new life in Canada. Right. So we have to treat him with love and compassion. Help him, yes. Yeah, we cannot get a drastic measure. And uh, I think that uh, your teaching and I apply it very well in our center. No, I think he just say that, but he wouldn't do any drastic stuff. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Master. Anyway. Um, Okay, uh, everyone is in difficult situations sometimes, and uh, men especially are a little more sloppy than women. And so, <laughs> no, no, that is that is the common. It's it's a common thing, you know. Like you forget this and that, and you don't dress as, you know, not so detailed like women. And some people, some men are more sloppy or more forgetful than other men, and some women are so vital, so on, so on. So anyway, Peter, you have to also check out whether your brother says things that is correct. And your brother and sister also, um, you know, if something he did wrong, you write a note and put it on his door. Tell him uh, next time, please do this, okay? Do not tell him you don't do that. Just tell him next time, do this. For example, say, if you forget the light and all that and so on, just say next time, turn off the light, cut off electric bill. You know, I mean, cut, cut, cut down. Uh, the the price for electric bill, something like that. Okay, just tell him what you want him to do, like okay, clean up the yard or please uh, clean up your room or wear the initiation car anytime. And Peter, if you're so forgetful, I suggest some uh, very easy solution. You put a big note in front of your door before you get out of that door. Yeah, wear my car now. Wear ID card right now, and then when you open the door, you remember, you come back, you get the ID card, you wear it on your shirt, and you go out. Understand, Peter? <laughs> if you're forgetful, you have to write note reminding yourself. Nobody else is there to remind you all the time. Understand, brother? Yes, definitely. Yes. There are two ways to live with each other, the wrong way and the right way. And for me, there's only one way, the right way. Okay? Yeah, I I always appreciate a positive solution yes. instead of negative solution. It's right. It's good. It's good. But everyone is learning, and the brother and sister are also many, and everyone has different mindset, different habit, and different way of expressing. So you have to make your life uh, a, a better one for yourself, and you have to remind yourself. You have to know which one is the right one, and you do it, and do not rely on someone else to 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 remind you because you are a man. Are you a man? Okay. Yes, you are a man. I have no doubt. What I mean, <laughs> what I mean is, you are mature. You are grown up. You are a responsible being, and you are even a good practitioner. I can tell. So, little bad habit, you change it. Okay, brother. 
no problem. Yes. Don't make the bad habit become a bad reputation for you. Don't let the habit get you down and make you become, uh, you know, uh, like a fool in front of everybody. Why? You have to earn the respect. You have to let people know that you are a man, you are a respectful person, you are responsible, you can do everything you want. Now make down a list what you have to do. Make the list what they ask you to do and try to do it. And it's easy. You can do it just like that. Can you? Good, no problem. Yes, no problem. Okay, so that is for now. All right, everybody okay, happy? Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right, anything else there? Thank you, Master. Oh, you're welcome, and thank all of you for trusting me with this. Uh, you're, you're so beautiful. I love judgment. you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. Yeah. You know, uh, this is a problem with some of us. You know, we have not been taught, especially men. It's not only Peter. Many men are like that. And I tell you, this little problem sometimes causes a breakup of marriage. Yes, causes a losing of a job, causes a heartache, losing of a loved one. So you mindful of your own environment. Make it as clean as a first-class hotel. Now, if you don't know what a first-class hotel looks like, you go into one, look around it, and go home and make your home like that. It's not like the same decoration or anything. Make it tip-top clean, like you could even eat from the floor. Yes? Make it as if I'm coming to visit you tomorrow. How about that? Yeah. Because... Because I live where you live. I am there. All right? Have respect for me and my place. Save my money on electric bill. Keep my house clean. Keep the window closed. Keep everything in perfect condition because this is my house. Your house is my house. Okay? All right, thank you. Cleanliness is godliness. Okay, try to look for that. If you were a god, a Buddha, how would you behave? How would you act in your life? So try to be do, try to do that. Okay, huh? Yes. Remind yourself, like you put some note on the door, of Peter, for so example, for or anyone, not just Peter. I'm sure there are many Peter walking around in the center. It's just that he doesn't live there, so nobody knows. So now, <laughs> the solution for all the Peters in the world, on every center, <laughs> or in the private house, is like this. Whatever is your um, weakness, for example, you mostly forget to close the window and let the aircon or the heater comes out and, and, and increase the electric bill, you put a note in front of your door. You know, uh, before you open the door, you see, it. Uh, oh, remember, oh, did you close the window? You ask yourself, you know, <laughs> remember to close the window or remember to uh, uh, take out the garbage, just put the whole list there. So every day you go out, you check the list. Did I do that? Number one, check. I did. Number two, did I close the window? Go check around. Come back, check. I did it. Uh, did I, um, you know, uh, take the garbage out? Number three, I did. Check. And then you go out. Understand? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Even if you forgot at that time, at least when you come back, you remember again. Okay? Yes. So it's better than you never remember and make your ha a mess of your house and stinking and, and trouble for, for yourself and everyone. Make yourself a perfect picture of admiration, of respect, of a beautiful yogi, because we are not in the Himalaya. We are here, all right? <laughs> we are with a lot of people, and that is good, it's nice, it's cool to have a big family. It's beautiful, we, we are always there for each other. No one else out there will help us as much as we do help each other. Remember that. So we are what we have. We are the family. Okay? Mm. Yeah. As a contact person, I would like to report to you a, a very positive aspect of our center. Good. Yeah, we have a management team now. Good. Yeah, so uh, any decision that around about the center, we discuss, we try to find a, a loving, compassion solution. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. You know what? When we have to make a mistake, 
then we would always rather make a mistake on the side of compassion. Do you understand now? Yes. If we make a mistake, then rather make a mistake on the side of compassion and love always. Always. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Suppose you don't know, okay, now we don't know, we make this, this decision uh, whether it's really right or wrong. Okay? You, you cannot uh, determine whether this decision is right or wrong. If you think it might be wrong, then at least you're wrong in the side of love. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Yes, that's good. That's good. That's a very easy, that's the criteria for decision making. Yeah? If we err, we err on the side of compassion and love. Okay? Yeah. All right. All right, we have a new center that joined us. We want to say hello to South Africa Johannesburg Center. Say hello. <laughs> By the way, the word is hello, not hello. <laughs> hello is the hello around your head. You know, when you meditate well, you have a hello of light, like on on top of all the angels and Jesus and all the saints, you understand? Yeah. So that is the word hello. Yeah. Just like good morning is supposed to be from God's morning. Yeah, everything is good like that. Uh, hello, not hello. Hello is hell. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we say hello, okay? Yeah. All right. Mm, maybe they write it uh, different now, but it's supposed to be hello. Yeah, in the old time, people say things to remind themselves of God and heaven. Yeah. Uh, like in Germany, uh, for example, they, some of them say to, to each other, Grüß Gott, mean I greet the God. Yeah. <laughs> See, when I greet you, they say, I greet the God. That is also more correct even, yes. And like the Jewish people, they name themselves in all the glorious name ever. Yeah, like God love, you know, <laughs> Maya God love, yeah, Gloria uh, God love, something like that. And if they want money, they say a uh, Goldberg, <laughs> Maria Goldberg, Silverberg, you know. So your name and the way you speak. Yeah, by the way, the Jewish people are very rich. <laughs> So maybe the names that help does help, huh? Uh, so when we speak of something, we try to use a positive reinforcement, and that might help our life better. And I'm sure it will. In the long run, it's the best solution. Oh, anything else, brothers, sisters, before I go? Sister Deborah. Yeah, from Deborah. From Rochester. Hi, Master. Hi, Deborah. I just wanted to thank you, Master Yufa. Saved my life last year, and um, I wanted to say that I thank you for sacrificing so much for me and loving me so much. Of course I do. I love you. Who else? <laughs> <laughs> and you're beautiful. Oh, thanks, Master. Mm. Also, can I? I wanted to ask you a question. Sure. In the Eastern religions, like Buddhism and Hinduism, they have um, after somebody dies, they have a ceremony of feeding the ghost of the person or the spirit of the person. But in the Western religions, like Christianity and Judaism, we don't have that? Yes. And I was wondering if it, if it makes any difference. I mean, does, it, does, does the, do the people in the Christian religion suffer anymore after they die, or, or does it make any difference in Buddhism that they feed the ghosts or the spirits? Oh, they're just tradition, yeah? For example, um, perhaps the... Uh, no, not... I don't know if any, <laughs> if it, that is uh, Buddhism or not. It's just like this. Some of the practitioners, they would have seen, they would have be able to see with the third eyes or their spiritual eyes that some ghosts are hanging around there, the, the new deceased person. And if that deceased person um, has not been a good practitioner or has not been a practitioner at all, like a, just a normal person, then he might have to go to the ghost world. And therefore, a lot of ghosts are coming at the time of that person's departure. And now, meanwhile, uh, of course, if you see it, then you fit them. Yeah, but there are some secret mantra and mutra and the way to fit the ghost, to multiply the food to fit them. 
Otherwise, they make more trouble for you because there are more ghosts coming and you don't have, don't have food and they will <laughs> make trouble for you. Yeah? So anyway, the Christianity is the one that follow, and uh, Judaism uh, is the one who follow the, those living master like Jesus. Yeah? And at that time, it's just like uh, we are telling people, your father will go to heaven immediately if he just die now and like if you are the son and you practice even if he doesn't practice uh, even if he has to go to a little lower world for a while the master will take him up and no ghost will be around him you know because the master will protect him therefore we have no need to feed the ghost yeah okay. but some in some cases some like for example if you are a practitioner uh, suppose you are a Hindu, okay, or you are Chinese or Vietnamese or whatever then, in the other tradition, okay? Suppose you are one and you are a practitioner, but the, the person who die, are one of your friend or your friend of a friend or the relative of your relative of the friend of your relative of the relative of the friend. <laughs> and he is not practicing. And then, uh, of course, you have to come there, or maybe he doesn't have any relative left or friend left, so you take care of his uh, of his um, uh, funeral and all that. And then uh, maybe that person cannot go to the higher rim immediately and uh, the ghost come in for him and if you have uh, uh, some uh, ghost eyes open, you see the ghost and you, if you know the way, you try to feed them too and tell them to take care of your, uh, the friend of your relative, relative friend, 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 until you, <laughs> you pray to your master or the master come and, and help him in his time. You understand what I mean? Thank you, Master. Yes, the same like Jesus, Buddha, or Jesus, or the, the Christian people. But the tradition are not always um, preserved like that in every country. But in Christian Bible, remember, in the old time, the high priests used to slaughter a lot of animals in the time of uh, sacrifice or, or make offering to the temple and all that. These are the uh, kind of uh, a, a less high uh, spiritual practice belonging to some people who have not practiced very well, like in our tradition, in our family, for example, the Kuan Yin family. So there are many different ways, yeah? But we are the Kuan Yin practitioners, uh, our relatives, you know, direct descendants or ascendants, in, um, like the one who died already, if he has done very bad things, and it takes a little longer for the Master to take him up. Remember, the, the brother has just mentioned about his brother, or his father who has been in a little lower and less uh, happy uh, situation, but the master also go there and uh, fill out probably application form and make all the bureaucracy and then bring him up. Just like you rescue a person from, from uh, prison, but he has to go through certain procedure. So now we, the practitioner and the relative who dies, go direct to heaven. So we have no need to feed any ghosts. There's none around to be fed. You see? So that is why the Christians follow that tradition, because Jesus has told them, there's nothing there for you to do. You understand what I say now? Yes, thanks, Master. Yes, and the Christian religion is almost still new. So the people still uh, preserve that tradition from, from the time of Jesus Christ, and that is good so. But, uh, you know, the Hindu tradition, the, those who do not practice very well, they also follow that tradition. This is also good so. They do what they understand and what their level afford them, and both are correct. It's okay, but for us, we just follow one line, our relative goes to heaven. If not, Master, we take care soon, and there's nothing to worry, okay? Thanks, Master. Yes, but nevertheless, do not up, look down upon tradition. If you are Hindu, you continue doing what you do that agree with your caste and that your family do not uh, make trouble against you, and we no need to make a fuss for nothing. Even if you feed the ghosts and the ghosts are not there, there's nothing waste, okay? <laughs> then they don't eat it. <laughs> then it's also no harm, all right? Yes. Yeah? Thank you, Master. My, my husband is Hindu. Oh, and good. His father died last week, and that's, that's what made me ask, because he's doing all these ceremonies now. Oh, he does it? Let him do it. Yeah, but no, I, I just wondered. I was just curious, but uh, yeah, he, he, he's, uh, he's actually happy to do them because... He feels it would make his father happy. So. Of course, of course. Uh, he just uh, expressed his fiality and it's all right. And you go along with it, yeah, and you meditate meanwhile also for the deceased, yeah? It's no problem, all Thanks, right? Doctor. Yes, you're welcome.
This is uh, Sister Tina Tolaki. Hi, Tina. Uh, hello, Master. Hi, how was it? I, I used to look after my baby. Oh. <laughs> uh, he just lost. It's okay, she's not lost. Okay. I told you, they go better place than us. Okay? <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, okay? Every, you still look after him right Yeah, sure, sure, sure. No, he's gone. Got to the better, better, better place. Better place. Be happy. Yeah, Who, I just want to make sure. Yes, whoever goes away from this world, you should celebrate for him or her. All right? Okay. Of, of course, as a mother, sister, brother, father, we, uh, we have a human emotion and we want to have that person near to us physically. But we forget that we are not physical, <laughs> okay? I understand, I sympathize with you, but please be happy for the soul, yeah? Uh, okay, thank yes, you. Yes. Besides, you should know the karma. Some people have karma with us for one second. Some people have only two minutes, some people have one month, some people have two weeks, some people have one year, two years, ten years, uh, fifty years. So the time has come, his karma finished with us, his affinity is solved with us, he is gone, okay? Nobody belongs to us. Nobody is really our son or daughter. Nobody is. They are all the children of God. They come to us for some special reason. Some come and go quick to remind us that the world is ephemeral. And uh, go ahead, practice quick, yeah? And some come and take some of our possession and all uh, that because we have owned them something. We want, they want to come and clear up the debt with us so that we will be free to go afterward. Some come to give us prosperity, give us love, happiness, because they have owned us that last time. They didn't do it well. And after that, they've done their job. They've gone back to where they should go. All right, understand, honey? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you feel uh, happy and console now. Yes. And you feel very light if you let it go. Yes. If you really understand that and you let the, you know, the soul go, you feel much happier. You just feel joy. Yes. That's the joy of detachment and true love. Because when you love someone, you want them to be in a happy, happier place than where we are and much better, better situation than what we can have right here. So that's the true unconditional love. Okay. Hello, Master. Hello. <laughs> um, this is the first time I talk with you since I uh, initiation of the 10 years. Oh. Um, I know uh, our our William method is not a business, but uh, eventually uh, my personal and my family life getting better and better uh, no matter physical and spiritual. Yes. Um, today I take my courage. Um, I feel very shy to say I'm, uh, I love you so much. And thank thank you. you so much. Thank you, baby. I love you too. I'm very happy for you. I'm very proud of you. And uh, thanks so much for you taking me and my family, um, especially the spirit, uh, spiritual life. It's okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, one more time, just want to say uh, I love you so much. I love you I too. I hope I not jealous. <laughs> it's okay. I love you too. Thank you. You are practicing very well, and that's why you reap the good benefit for you and your family. And that's the best way to thank me, and I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of all of you too other people as well. I know you're progressing and that is make me happy, no end. That's the things that make me happy the most. When you progress, you're happy, your life became happier, lighter, and you become more free of the uh, attachment of the world and everything going well with you. That's the thing that make me happy the most. And thank you for making this effort. Thank you very much. I love you. <laughs> See you next time, huh? Yes. God love you. <laughs> I love you. Bye. Bye.
last time. Hello, Hungary. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How are you? Are you all right? Are you all right? Yeah, we're very good now. <laughs> Have you uh, uh, had a good retreat, everyone? Yeah. Good, good. Wonderful, wonderful. It's nice to see you on the screen. <laughs> You only are like uh, ten inches from me. <laughs> ten inches. Ten inches, yes. yes. Very close. Very yes. close. <laughs> Hello to you all, and God bless you so much. I love you. We love you too, Master. Thank you. Is that, a, uh, is that your center here? Is that private or is it a public area, public place? Uh, actually, Master, I have some uh, information about this. The center itself is uh, in a private location. It used to be a farm, ah. and it is very big, four and a half hectares, and oh. very close to the airport. <laughs> you could even manifest this beautiful service there that you can see me and hear me talking. Yeah, we actually came to a uh, university for this nearby, only half an hour drive. Oh, so this so is we... university? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. We came to the uh, college too because they have the internet connection because there's no phone line where we are. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. So how do you see me? Uh, slow motion? No, actually the connection <laughs> is pretty fast. Yeah? So we can see you almost instantly. Just like uh, like movies with all yeah, the you... natural movement? Yeah, na natural movement, like a movie star. Wow! No, what I mean is the fast motion, not just slow motion. No, no, almost instant, same same time. Just like a video you're watching, right? Yeah, wow. more or less. Just like very little slow, but not much. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Yeah, it's like you're here with us now. Well, wonderful. Wow, that's what I wanted to know. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm very glad to see you. Mm. Yeah. We're really happy. You wouldn't believe. Oh, you enjoy your retreat, huh? I wish I were there with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we do too. That's for sure. I mean physically, but now we are also together. Yeah, exactly. It's great. Okay. So anything I can help you with after mm -hmm. three day enlightening? Wise <laughs> gathering already? Yeah, actually, we have a few questions, if that's okay. So, oh, sure, sure, please, please. Yeah? Yes. Okay, here we go. Um, the first one is, Dear Master, first, thank you for everything. Please, could you tell me what is the difference between an enlightened human being and an enlightened master? It would frighten me very much that the goal of my spiritual pro progress, which is reaching the higher levels, would be to become a master like you. Thank you. Oh, uh, they are both enlightened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for this question. I think uh, no she's different, basically... No really. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I understand. I'm just uh, trying to lighten you up because I'm so happy to see you. Here's for you, the rose. <laughs> Okay. okay, the difference between the bud of this rose and these flowers is that he wasn't open very big, yeah? He was like this, huh? Yeah. But he's a rose. And then when he opened wide, he became a flower. He blossomed, blossomed. And he's also a rose. He just opened a little more. Okay. Got it? Yeah, we got it. Cool. <laughs> so, the next question. I was initiated four years ago. Last year I experienced the sounds of the end of the second level and also, but vaguely, the sounds of the third level. The last was very brief. Since that period I have heard nothing more. It has been more like this. It has been like this for more than ten months. I try to tune in, but with no success. I am now like in a black hole or in a tube, perhaps. I try not to focus on this problem and meditate more. Is this a good approach to the problem or have I to do something else? Thank you. Oh, just relax. Just relax, okay? Yeah, okay. Do not try too hard to catch the sound 
do not try to analyze what kind of level you are in. It's just the guideline for you. Our focus is to the highest level and to be free and wise, yes? So as we go, we will notice our development. There's no need to keep track of it, all right? The more you focus on these uh, calculation, the more you dwell in the intellect. And the more you dwell in the intellect, uh, the dif more difficult to get out of it. Just relax, be cool. <laughs> Dear Master, I would like to thank you firstly for letting me enjoy a uh, kind of happiness and inner peace. Also, a gradual development of wisdom every day, which I have never felt before initiation. Good, good. So, sometimes, though, I feel a kind of airstream running through the left side of my head to my face. Sometimes it makes me feel tense there and uncomfortable. Master, what is it that I should do? Okay, next time just focus on the right side. Yeah? Yeah. And recite the five names. Oh, okay. Dear Master, the human race is still so backward in terms of spiritual consciousness and ignorance. It is so widespread. It seems that this is basic human nature and that this is the natural state of the world. My question is, is it necessary for spiritual practitioners to have to struggle to rise above all of this? And why are more people not naturally more spiritually receptive since this fundamental truth is the reality of existence? Oh, wow. What a question. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I suggest you forget the whole question. Okay. okay, and concentrate in your inner wisdom, and then soon you don't need to ask so much and so long sentence. Okay. Yeah, all right. Everything evolved according to God's plan, and you are helping it. It's okay. It's perfect. If we evolve faster than this, the human cannot bear. All right? The human race cannot bear. We are working fine. Yeah? Don't worry. And everyone okay. is evolved according to his or her own level of uh, understanding about Godhood. Some people walk faster, some people walk slower, and that is natural. Yeah, everyone choose their own pace. So just focus on your own pace and enjoy. Enjoy the walk. Okay. Hello, Master. Hi. Um, since one week I have a um, problem with my wisdom eye. I mean, I meditate, I have a, a pressure at, at my wisdom eye automatically. I don't know why. Oh, I see. Um, you uh, massage a little bit when you feel the pressure, massage a little up, upward stroke at your wisdom eye, yeah? And try to relax and recite the five names. And do not press yourself, do not pressure yourself over there, okay? Yeah. Just remember the wisdom eyes, but do not pressure yourself mentally. Do not yeah, try I do, too I hard. Do. Yes. You do what? I do, uh, like you say, but uh, it's automatically um, pressed. Okay, then just bear it. Massage a little bit and try to bear it, and then it will, it will be gone. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, because your soul is trying to get out. Okay, thank and you. you. Have a little I have blackish. another question, Master. Um, I always see the little star, a little light like a star, uh, in different colors. And I don't know if it's uh, something wrong with my body or if it's something uh, with the spirit. If you see the star, why is something wrong with you? You see the star inside? No, no, outside. I just walking, walking. Oh, I understand. It's it's okay. It's okay. It's a, it's an extra blessing. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Master. Yes. You focus on a wisdom eye all the time. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Is this right when I hear in the meditation? Mm-hmm. I hear really songs I like 
uh, since my child would like uh, Christmas songs, yes, other songs. Is mm. this good uh, to hear? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, but not focus too much on that. Yes. All right. Okay. After a while, it will be gone. Okay. Yes. It's just your longing for childhood. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. You are re you are re uh, reversing to the youth, to your childhood, and this is a sign of uh, you know you're going back to your uh, youth. Thank you. It's good, and then you will pass that and go to heaven. <laughs> I mean higher level. Don't worry. It's good. It's good. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hello, Master. Hi. Thank you for your love and compassion. Oh, thank you. Um, my question is, um, up till now, um, I do not have light or sound, but I sometimes do have altered state of consciousness mm. due to prior psychiatric illness. And I would like to know if this altered consciousness is the door that I have to go through in order to get sound and light. No, what is it that your outer consciousness like? It's, it's kind of trance. Oh, it's kind of like you are in samadhi, and you feel good. Mm, in, in the beginning, I was very afraid of this um, state, but now I I can bear it. It's it takes one hour and then it's gone, and then I'm but. What do you do during that hour? How do you feel? During that time, it's something bigger than me that uh, is a bit strange to be. Uh, yes, it's, it, uh, everything is um, is um, has a kind of connection with myself. I feel the atmosphere stronger than normal. Mm. And. And um, if I have this state of consciousness, I try to meditate and try to um, stay calm and try to relax, and then it goes and I feel better. Yes. Uh, you try to recite the five names, okay, if you feel afraid. Okay. If not, you just let go and enjoy whatever comes. Mm -hmm. when you too, Thank you so much. Yeah, when you're too tense, you cannot focus on the light and cannot focus on the sound, and that's why you think you do not see them or hear them. So try to relax and focus on your wisdom eye and recite the five holy names instead of being panicky. Understand now? Mm -hmm. Yes, Thank good. You. you are very welcome, and you will enjoy soon. I love you. Thank you so much, Master. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Um, dear Master, there are many disciples who have got convenient method. Then they hear different sounds and they ask me what should they do. What should I tell them, Master, to ignore or concentrate on those sounds? Concentrate on uh, the um, convenient method. Okay. And enjoy the sound meanwhile. Okay. okay, that's it. Okay, uh, that's it. Last one, okay. No, it's an extra it. blessing when you do the light and you hear the sound, but just concentrate on their method, yeah? Or on the light. Yeah. What else? And oh, the next one. Dear Master, why are created people like artists and writers, etc., often mentally or emotionally disturbed? Is it because most of them are trying to create something without spiritual practice, meaning without God's blessing and love, or is this just a part of their karma? Not all of them are disturbed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, disturbed people are disturbed anyway, you know, be it artists or not. It's just the reason why you notice that the artists are disturbed because the artists People are they are more famous, you know, more are more in the public the gaze, yeah. If it's a normal person dis disturbs somewhere, uh, your neighbor disturbs, you probably don't notice, 
because you don't even know they are there. It's not that they are art- artists and then they are more disturbed. It's not like that, okay? That's the one thing. And another thing, properly, is that also the artistic people, they are more like in the clown, you know? <laughs> they are living in their own world. They are more into creative things, and they are very more ob- oblivious to the mundane uh, problems and the practical um, way of living. And when they have to deal with those, they kind of uh, get confused. Yeah, the pressure is too much for them. Yeah, the pressure is too much for many of us. But because we are doing it every day, we're working in the world every day, so we are not. Uh, we are more used to it, more immune to it. But the artist people or the creative people, they are more in their own world, and they're more in the beautiful things that they they create, or they try to create beautiful things, and they're just more into the beauty and the music or whatever. And when they have to crash with the reality, the harsh reality of mundane living, of making money, paying the rent, paying the bill, then they become very, uh, you know, like, almost like uh, alarmed, you see what I mean? And they probably don't know how well how to do with it, how to deal with it. So it, it seems like they are out of ordinary, but uh, if it's us, then we're also the same, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's just the reality and the dream are much different sometimes. And some people cannot balance between the practical living and the, you know, worldly mundane living to deal with money and bills and the beauty of the inner creativeness. So there is a little balancing that they need to learn, and some people do not know how. Yeah, not even just an artist, anyone. Some people are more emotional, some people are less emotional. Some people are more in the inside of dreaming, like a dreamer. Some people are more practical and down to earth. And if we do not balance these two, we will be in trouble, any of us. That's why it is better for you to meditate and go into the inner world of beauty, but continue your worldly obligation. And in that way, you are more balanced. You understand what I say? Yeah. yeah. And even the monks and all the nuns in the center, I make them work too. There are time to meditate, to go in the God Kingdom. There are time to bring that blessing out and to to operate into this world. Otherwise, you will lose touch with the physical world. And uh, whenever you have to go back to be in touch with it again, you'll be confused, yeah? And that's how people think you are disturbed. <laughs> I mean, anyone, okay? Is that clear? Yes, yeah, thanks, Mr. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Yes, next. Uh, I think, sorry, I think that's it, Master. All the questions that we've been read out now. Good, good, well, good. You don't ask that many, that means you have been very enlightened. <laughs> we, we have a few uh, personal experiences that some disciples have written, if you would like us to share those with you. Okay. Yeah, uh, not too long. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> dear loving Master, we are very happy here. The atmosphere is very lovely. We know that you are always with us. Thank you so much for your love and uh, your loving blessing. When we are here for a few days, wishing we sorry, we are here for a few days, wishing you the best, our dear loving master. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay, dear master, I want to say that after my first international retreat in December last year in Florida. My husband is a totally changed person. Mm. Before the retreat, he did not like any of our chanting tapes, lecture tapes, nor did he like going to Sunday group meditations. Mm. But as soon as I got home after the retreat, he became more open to your teachings, and he learned the convenient method and is now eagerly awaiting initiation. Good, good. Something happened while you are away. (laughs) That's good for him. That the power of group meditation is truly great. I feel extremely best. Thank you very much, Master. You are very welcome. Thank you yourself. Okay. 
Um, master, due to my illness, doctors said I couldn't be operated on, but the situation became serious um, when I com complained about it to Master. Uh, as a serious operation had to be done. So I told Master I was a little afraid, but then I felt completely calm. The next day I found a doctor who was able to make me sleep uh, while I was being operated on. Sorry, while I was being operated on last night, light beings who took me to a beautiful, bright place. Thank you, Master, for your one for the wonderful things you have done for me, and uh, also God bless you. Oh, God bless you more, honey. All you have to do is just ask. Yeah, <laughs> everyone. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Okay, that's uh, that's all the experiences and questions now. Wow, wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, all right. <laughs> I hope you will go home and enjoy your home again. <laughs> because you have to bring the blessing of the retreat home. Nee? Yeah. And I shall see you again some other time or via internet when it's your turn again. We well, look forward to it, Master. Yes, me too. It's a wonderful experience for us, huh? Yes. Yeah, and it's great that you don't have to travel so far anymore. You can do it from the convenience of oh. uh, your house or wherever. It's not that, just it's, I don't do it for my health or whatever. It's just that before we don't have this, so we do retreat sometime, but now we still can do both, and it's not bad. Yeah. If I can, I do retreat again. Yeah. We have like this, uh, every week you can see me. Yeah. It's a bonus, no? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's like winning the lottery. <laughs> Besides, for example, even if we do retreat every year, not everybody can come, huh? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, and some country they're not uh, free to to come to wherever we have retreat. So like this, everyone can see me. Yes, yeah. and this is very good, and nobody can stop us. And this is, everybody has a freedom to see me in every corner of the world if they have the access to internet. Yeah. And this is well, wonderful for them. Very lucky. Yeah, it's not yeah. because uh, my health or anything. Is I'm doing it for you, all of you. Oh, for sure. No, yeah. uh, we, we're just happy that, um, to be able to see you all the time. Yes, yes, this is wonderful, huh? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yes, not only you, the whole world, almost, you know, many centers can see. Yes. <laughs> You're keeping well, Master. Yeah, well, wonderful. And we just take in turn to talk to each center every week. Oh, that, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, it is because you meditate group together only every week weekend, so we do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's for all for your convenience. Mm. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yes. And we can, uh, we, uh, for brothers and sisters who don't have to uh, travel because of family and... Uh, yeah, work, everyone can family. see me. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's and can hear question and answer from everyone else and which is even applied to themselves too, you know? Like some of your question today would mm -hmm. would also correspond with some of other people question in other centers around the world and they meanwhile get answers as well. Yes. And this is a wonderful uh, opportunity, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, good, sure. good. <laughs> okay. I wish okay. you all the best. God bless you. Yeah. I love you. We love you too, Master. I love you very much. See you soon.